Hi, I'm Belene Hyam. I am a social media consultant, and today we are answering the most Google questions about social media. Question number one. How many people are on social media? So there are around 4.9 billion people on social media globally. That's a lot of people. It's about 75% of our population. Uh, most people are not just on one social media platform. They're on lots. Uh, the average is sort of five or six social media platforms. So that's a lot of time, uh, a lot of apps and a lot of screen time. Question number two. What is the most popular social media platform? So the most popular social media platform may not come as a surprise to most of you, but that is currently Facebook. Uh, Facebook has the most users out of all of the other platforms. And it's actually one of those platforms that has lots of people from various demographics. So if you're a business and you've only got the resource for kind of one social media platform, Facebook is quite a good one to start with. Uh, also, it's part of the meta suite of platforms. So you'd have access to Instagram and also WhatsApp as well. How long does the average person spend on social media per day? So that is about 145 minutes, which works out to around two and a half hours. That is a lot of time. I'm sure some people are thinking, actually, I think I might be more than that. I couldn't possibly comment about myself. Um, that works out, if you make it to 70 years of age, about 5.7 years on social media. And that is one of the reasons why 39% of people who use social media admit that they're probably addicted to it. What is the fastest growing social media platform? So it has been for many years TikTok. Uh, in recent times, Be Real has become a platform that's growing quite quickly. Uh, I don't personally see a lot of Be Real content on social media anymore, so perhaps that was a bit of a flash in the pan. Uh, but I think that TikTok at the moment is the fastest growing platform. Question number five. How often should I post on social media? So this is quite a personal question and it's quite difficult to give you a very straight answer on it. I would say post as much as you are able to post. If you think that you can create content either as an individual or as a business every single day, then go ahead with that. If you think that maybe you can post twice a week, uh, three times a week, or maybe just once a week, I would say the key is to be consistent. So stick with what your posting plan is. Don't post loads of times in a week and then don't post anything for a couple of months. Create a plan and stick with that and be consistent. Because the other thing is, if you're a business and you're posting all the time and suddenly you go very quiet, it can look a bit unprofessional uh, and looks like you haven't planned it. So I would say be consistent. Question number six. Which social media platform should I use to promote my business? Well, the answer to that is kind of simple. It depends where your audience is. So if you have a business and your target audience is uh, people over the age of 65, TikTok is probably not going to be your platform. Equally, if you are a business and you're targeting young people, uh, maybe people in education, you are not gonna want to go onto LinkedIn. So LinkedIn's audience, the main audience on that platform is between 30 and 39. Um, so again, if your audience is quite young, that's probably not going to be the place for you. Facebook has uh, an audience that are between sort of 24 and upwards. So again, if you're trying to attract the older generation, that might be something to consider. If you've got a much younger audience, then Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, it's probably the place to be. What kind of content should I post? So going back to the audience thing, what kind of content do you think is going to resonate with your audience? Uh, also have a look at the algorithms of the platforms that you're on. If you go on Instagram at the moment, you're probably going to see reel after reel after reel. So think about creating a reel because that is the kind of content that Instagram is pushing out to its followers. But above all, you need to make sure that your content is relevant and it gives something to people to engage with and to take action. If you're on social media because you want people to go onto your website and buy a product, then word your caption in a way that makes it very difficult for them not to do that. How can I get more followers on social media? Now, this is a really good question, but I would argue that it's kind of irrelevant because if you have loads of followers on social media, you can have thousands and thousands of followers next to your handle. 
they're not necessarily going to engage with your content or do business with you. You can even buy followers, which I would obviously never recommend. Um, so I would suggest that creating more engagement should be a priority for you. And if you get more followers through that, then that's absolutely fine. If you've got lots of followers that never see your content because they're not interested in your business, that's not as good as having a smaller group of followers who engage with your posts every single time and always click through to the links that you're serving them. What's the best time to post on social media? Again, there's a bit of a theme here, that's all about your audience. I hear lots and lots of people say, oh, my next door neighbor's cousin said the best time to post on Facebook is 10 o'clock in the morning. And that is all just absolute rubbish because it depends on when your audience is around and online. So if you have enough followers on most of the platforms, you can have a look at the insights and you can find out what your audience are doing when they are online. There are general rules if you're targeting people who are in education, for example, you probably won't want to be posting during the day when they're not around. Um, so also think about what you're going to be competing with on someone's timeline. If you post in the morning, that post might still be seen later on that day, but obviously other things might have come up in between. So have a look at your insights or try things out, put a similar post out at different times of day and see which one of those actually engages the most people. Question number 10. Should I pay for ads? Uh, I would say absolutely. If you think that that's going to meet your social media objective, then pay for ads. Um, it can be expensive on certain platforms and not as expensive on other platforms. What I would say though, is if you are intending on boosting an existing post, don't ever boost a post that hasn't really done very well. Always boost something that has performed quite well for you. Because remember, if the post has reached your organic audience, i.e. the people that have requested to see your content and they haven't um, engaged with it, paying for people to see it's probably not going to get you great results either. So I would say, yeah, pay for ads if you think that it's going to get you what you want from your business. Thanks for joining us. Today we have been going through the 10 most Google questions on social media. I've been Valine Hyam. I am a social media consultant and I'm based in Brentwood, Essex. Just wanted to remind you before we go that you have just spent 10 more minutes of your life on social media. Thank you.